Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Go ahead, grab your coffee, and let's grab a seat. And let's get ready for Coffee and a Story. If you're enjoying these coffees and stories, please hit that like button right now and then pop over to the other side and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything we have coming up. We have trainings, stories, tips and tricks to get offers accepted to make your real estate career amazing. Let's just say you're not going to want to miss anything we have coming up. So go ahead right now. Hit that like button. Okay. And then pop over and hit that subscribe button. All right, thank you so much. Let's get into today's let's get into today's story. Last week, I told you the wonderful story of Harv and Linda jumping the gun on their purchase, where they went ahead and demoed and basically started improving a home that wasn't even theirs without the seller's approval. Fortunately, as you know, it worked out well, and we closed, and they turned into wonderful clients. Not only did Harv and Don turn into wonderful clients themselves, Don at this point in time had purchased three homes and then Harv had just closed on his home. Well, Harv was so happy and so was Don that over the next, let's say six months, they referred um, Joe and Jolene, which was my my very first sale with the uh, not my first sale but the uh, story a couple weeks ago with the difficult client um, turned out wonderful, right? Next thing you know, Harv referred Ron, which Ron was the quick sale that I told you about a couple weeks ago as well, right? Then you have Don's aunt. Now Don's aunt purchased a wonderful home. And we're gonna tell that story in particular next week because that story has some twists and turns up and downs. So that's another great story. Okay, but that was on the surface, and keep, remember, this was back in the fall of the market, a $360,000 home, okay? That was a $600 plus thousand dollar home back in the day, okay? So you have Harv, Don, Don, Don. You have Ron. You have Joe and Jolene, okay? So you have um, Ron, right? Harv, Don, 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 Ron, Joe, and the ant. Yes. Okay, so at this point in time, you have seven homes from what would be one referral. Okay? But we're not done there. Over the next, oh man, let's say six months after that, the referrals of the referrals started giving us referrals. <laughs> okay, so we had um, one gentleman, another Johnston, who purchased in Goodyear. Um, we had another uh, referral that um, purchased a home in Surprise. There was another one that purchased another one in Goodyear. Um, I'm, I kind of lost track after the trail and to be honest with you, you know, I know for a fact it led to over 10 sales within about a year and a half. Okay, now, how did I do it at that time? To be honest with you, I was scared poopless, and I was just praying for the best. And by praying for the best, I was a newly married man. I had a about four-year-old daughter at that point in time. We had just purchased a home in Surprise, and at that point in time, to be honest with you, my life was absolutely amazing. I woke up every morning just happy and excited. My my then wife would get ready for work. She had a long drive that she had, to, um, her commute was just ridiculous. And so I would get up with her, you know, make coffee, blah, blah, blah. And we'd share the morning and then she would leave really early to drive to work and I would just boom, pop into my desk and start the day. I would try to bust out all my calls, all my emails, 
by noon or one o'clock at the latest because I wanted to be free. If I saw my neighbor outside, I'd run across and I'd just hang out with him, talk to him for a bit. Same thing this neighbor over here. If I knew Don was in town, I'd break free to go hang out with them for a few hours, right? And I became a social butterfly. And if they were gonna be golfing, sure as heck I wanted to be golfing with them. If they were gonna be going out to eat, I wanted to go out to eat with them. If they were just hanging out, let's hang out, guys, right? And it was just fun. And that was the greatest thing about it is that I don't know what I did and I was so scared to lose it, but I just was putting my best foot forward and hoping for the best. And because I wasn't scared to admit that I was new. I wasn't scared to let them know where I was at and where we were in the learning process, where the market was. It was all just sincere and pure, if that makes sense, right? And to this day, those, let's call it 10 or so sales, are why I'm here today with my property management company and everything else. Those times, that year, literally, you know, a lot of people probably went back at high school. This is what I look back on. That time in my life was just incredible. Is it better than today? Can't say it is, but am I so grateful that that took place because that wouldn't have today without it? Heck yeah. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Joan. Harv, I wish I had, I could have told you this face to face beforehand, sir. Linda, Joe, Jolene, um, uh, Joe Johnston. Um, oh man, I'm forgetting all your names. I'm so sorry. I should have written them all down. Um, thank you guys so much. You will always have a special place in my heart. And as you all know very well, I will do anything for you guys. All right, please share your stories below. T talk about your, your customer service stories. What has just taking care of people and developing relationships, what has it done for you? Please share your stories below. All right. D uh, uh, what is it? DM me, direct message me. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and um, or give me a call. You know, I'd love to share it. I love to feature you here. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, please before before we leave, if you haven't done it yet, hit that like button. Pop over, hit that subscribe button. Do it right now. You don't want to miss any of the great stuff we have coming up. Please, your support means the world to us. So check us out. Please support us on Patreon. Check out our merch page on our website, um, www.brepm.com. We have our property management page there. You have our um, handyman page. It's all right there. So make, make it nice and convenient for you. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please share these. Again, thank you. Talk to you later.